Yes, guys, it's winter time. Yes, it is freezing cold. And yes, it is time to start thinking about your yard and the things we need to do to make it green and beautiful during the year. Think I'm crazy? Come along and I'll explain why. Well, hey guys, Jeff here and welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year, everyone. It's uh, right after the first of the year and I apologize. I have not been able to do some videos for a short period of time, but work has been crazy. So so uh, just haven't been home to be able to make some. So uh, anyway, I'm trying to get back on track now. One of the things I want to share with you, and even though, yes, it's winter time uh, today, in the middle of the day, it's only in the upper 30s here. Uh, it's getting down in the teens at night, but it is absolutely time to start thinking about what you want to do to make your yard all green and pretty for next year. Uh, believe it or not, you start putting down pre-emergence in February. So one of the things that I need to do now, I have needed to do this all summer, but time has just not allowed me to do so, and that is I need to get some soil analysts going uh, to see what kind of condition my dirt is in. Um, the old saying goes is you in the landscape or the lawn care business is you got to get your dirt right and that is not kidding around so the one thing i want to do today is i want to walk you guys through it's a real easy process and i want to say a huge thanks out to southern states for the service that they uh, provide uh, i'll walk you guys through this but it's real easy and uh, hopefully shortly i'll have analysis of my soil and i will know what i need to do uh, early in the season on getting my dirt right uh, before we start doing the pre-emergence. Pre -emergence. I can't talk today. So anyway, uh, we're going to uh, get the dirt samples. I'll walk you through that. We'll get it all put in a package and we'll go get it down to Southern States to be shipped off. So guys, one of the first things to share with you is one of the recommendations that they make is that they want you to get dirt samples from multiple places. They recommend five. I don't know that there, a specific number matters uh, whatever you feel comfortable doing, but I would highly recommend getting it from multiple areas. If you just went kind of to the four corners of your yard, I would think that would suffice, but uh, you just want to get it from different areas. You put it in a bucket, which is what I'm going to do here uh, shortly as I start getting my samples, and uh, then you just mix it all together, and then you'll put it in the envelope uh, or the little packaging that they have to send it off. So anyway, let's get our samples. Sample area number one. All right, sample area number two. Now this is the real bad area that I'm telling you about. I'll pan around and show you. First, I'm gonna pan around and show you my front yard. And I have had wonderful success so far. Uh, I did not get uh, the fall treatment and the fall fertilizing this year because we had such a drought. Uh, it would have done more damage than good. So right now, the yard doesn't look bad. It would have looked a lot prettier if I could have fertilized and overseeded as I would normally do in the fall. But you can see, even though it's it's uh, it needs feeding, uh, it's still not bad. But then let me swing, and this is right in the middle. You can see all of this weeds. All the, these right here come up in late June, July, and I, I can never get anything. I have planted this two or three different times, and I can never get anything but all just nothing but the weed grass. So I'm really excited about getting the samples done for uh, this area and to see what is lacking and what I need to get this dirt working much better for me. So anyway, again, this is my big problem child area and this is sample area number three. Number four. And last of all, spot number five. Now this area, even though I'm just five or six hundred feet from the house, or I guess almost a thousand feet, I should say, uh, the dirt over here is way more red clay. It's amazing how it changes from one side of the property to the other. Uh, all you have to do is go by and pick up. They have these little packages already pre-done up. It is the company is Waypoint Analytical, and if you look on their website, uh, they have a facility in Raleigh, North Carolina, and a facility in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, I'll ask the lady when I get over there to drop it off, but I'm assuming this one's probably going to go to Richmond, Virginia. So anyway, uh, the instructions tell you there's a fill line here. So what I'm going to do is mix up my dirt real good, 
and then I'm gonna fill to here and seal it, and then we'll carry it over to Southern States and drop it off. All right, we are ready to go. So guys, I have got some exciting news for you. Um, we are going, my channel is going to be partnering with another YouTuber. I'm not gonna announce who it is right yet because uh, I'm gonna save that for a little bit later, but we are going to be partnering to work to take my yard to another level. Thus, this is the whole reason why I'm working so hard now to get my soil samples done and get a, a good anal analyzation done to see what all we need to do. So I will bring that exciting news to you soon. Please be sure and subscribe and like and share with your friends. Please be sure and get that notifier, uh, set your ringtone for your notifier, because uh, as you see, I just dropped off my information at the Southern States office. It was very easy, straightforward. She took all of my information. Uh, it will be sent to their lab up in Richmond, Virginia, and it'll be about a week, a little over a week, and we'll have the results back. So I want you to be sure that you guys see part two of this video, which will be going over, meeting with them, and them going over all of the results from the test that we're doing now. So I can't wait to see, uh, hopefully get some good news about what I need to do to really get my soil in great shape so I can grow some green fescue in 2022. So anyway, guys, for now, that is it for now. And begin, uh, be sure and subscribe so you can get when we do part two on this. And guys, I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching and be on the lookout. We're coming back to you quick. Thanks.